Hi, I'm going to give a demonstration of my Catico game from 1965 called Photoelectric Football. This is the National Pro Football Hall of Fame edition. If you want to know more about the Catico company or about this type of game in general, check out a website called BoardGameGeek.com. The format of the game is pretty simple and uh, very unique by today's gaming standards. The offensive player selects a play card and he places it on the play field. The defensive player also selects a play card and he places it on the play field. After that, this card is drawn out that reveals the plays combined by the effect of having light shine through. And that sort of animates the, the ball movement and the subsequent effect of the defensive play. So I'm going to give a demonstration of how that works. I'm also going to show the quality and details of the box. So before I put the box lid away, let's take a look at that. One thing I really like about these Catico games is the reinforcing that they've placed on the corners. Now this box shows typical wear on the corners and edges for a game of this age and size. Uh, but the cardboard is of exceptional quality. It's really heavy duty. One of the things I'm disappointed about with this game is the tear on that player's helmet and another one on this player's hand. And it looks to me like uh, cello tape, maybe from gift wrapping when the game was originally purchased. So back to the play field. These ribbons were added by me just to help the game come out of the box. The ribbons aren't attached in any way. They're just looped around the game. The bottom box also has the same kind of heavy corner bracing. Okay, so the game comes with this spinner card to help determine some random events. These offensive play cards, and in this case, it shows the snap, lateral movement, the dashed line is a pass, and then the star is a reception, and then forward movement of the ball all the way to the end zone. There are 12 offensive play cards six defensive play cards and the instructions and it appears that the uh, original plastic bag the gameplay is pretty interesting the Each player, offensive and defense, selects a play card. The offensive player secretly uh, selects his card and places it face down on the play surface. The defensive player places his card on top of the offensive card. And then this panel is drawn out. which allows the light to shine through and that light shining through will actually show the offense and defensive cards combined into a single play and you can use 
the alignment of the tr of the squares or the diamond shapes with the ball's movement to determine the outcome of the play. And then in with that is this spinner to help determine the outcome of other events. For example, if the ball is intercepted or fumbled or if it's just an incomplete pass. The spinners are metal, very high quality, and they're balanced very well. They spin nicely. On the C spinner, you can look very carefully and see a white line that starts right at the tip of the spinner, and it's actually a scratch from the spinner tip, and it extends to right there. And that's really the only defect on the playing card. Now the game is an electric uh, game. You have to plug it in to make the light work. So on the side, we have the cord, which pulls out very carefully. And there's also a light switch right here to turn the game on. Now in order to demonstrate the game I'll have to turn the lights down. So as the card is drawn out, you can see how the light shines through. So we'll give an example here. Oh, uh, the alignment of the cards is pretty important. Now, when the offensive player plays his card, and remember, when they actually play it, it's face down. I'm only doing it this way to show you how the alignment works. The defensive player will align his card with those white bars in one of three positions. So either this way, this way, or this way. So we'll have an offensive play. We'll have a defensive play. And if I turn the lights down, let's see if we can see how it lines up. Okay, it is pretty dark. Let's see. Just a little bit of light to help out. Okay, so here you can see the white bars and a little bit of light shines through so that the players can align their cards properly. So after, after the cards are properly aligned, This panel is drawn out, which will show the progress of the ball. That's much better. There we go. Okay. So as the card is drawn out, you can see lateral movement of the ball and made it around a defensive player and here's where the pass occurs and the pass is either intercepted or blocked by this defensive player so at that point the spinner cards are used to determine the outcome of that particular play now if if the play card had been aligned differently, you would see that the pass would have made it through the defensive players and gone a little further. And let's see. Now here we have a blocked pass by the defense. 
and it could have been aligned a third way like so in which case the quarterback would have been sacked or whoever was handling the ball would have been tackled behind the line of scrimmage so that's the game in a nutshell uh, the, it's a very in-depth game believe it or not there are some pretty obvious ways to uh, win after you've played it a few times. Um, check out the website Board Game Geek for more information about the gameplay and the, the, the winning strategies that are often employed. So that's the photoelectric football from Catico 1965. Uh, definitely a game worth a second look. If this is uh, if you're a sports uh, interested game player, or you like any vintage games at all, this is a nice game to add to your collection. Thanks for watching.